You know, some restaurants are a lot more than just a place to eat. They truly become a part of the community. News Channel 5's Chris Davis takes us to a place that truly fits that description, open once again in downtown Hopkinsville. Okay. There are few places as hectic as a restaurant right before it opens. Hey, will you help me? I gotta bring in all this stuff that's out here. But it's a day Heather and Graham Dawson thought would never come. Is this it? Is this the end of the mixer? Heather always dreamed of these empty glasses and mugs serving her hometown of Hopkinsville. So they saved up and renovated this old hardware store on 6th Street. December 18th of 2019, it opened. And then March 18th, it closed. Along with the rest of the world. <laughs> because of COVID. <laughs> they survived the pandemic and business truly started to boom. I mean, we were like, this is this is amazing. Like, what could go wrong? Then came the storm. We just heard Drew screaming, get down, get down, get down. And it sounded like a bomb went off. It may not have been a bomb, but 90 mile an hour straight line winds essentially had the same effect. The wind coming through and literally blowing the entire roof and the half the wall. Three quarters of the second floor just got sheared off. Uh, they wondered if it was worth all the work to reopen. And I just looked at him and I said, if, if this is causing too much stress, if we've got to walk away, um, I'll do it. But when the Hopkinsville community saw the images of their restaurant reduced to rubble, donations and support started pouring in. We got so many businesses contacting us, supporting us. People sent us money just to help Graham and I out personally, um, I had never felt such an overwhelming sense of love and the desire of people wanting us to be here. And how could they walk away from that? We knew we just didn't want to give up because they weren't giving up on us. Now, after nine long months of rebuilding, the mixer is ready to reopen. So they have 18 in their section, they have 18 in their section. Making all the hectic planning worth every second. It was the perfect topper to a very, very hard year. <laughs> Especially when those loyal customers finally walk back in. If it wasn't for your support, I don't know if we could have kept doing this. With photojournalist Alex Maxwell, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Now I'm hungry. The Dawsons are happy to report that they're nearly booked up for their first week back in business.